Looking at the graphs of example one, we're going to solve these rational equations by graphing. The equation was x over x plus 2 equals x over x minus 2. And when we look at the graph, it looks like there's only one intersection at x equals 0. Okay, And if we kind of plug that in, 0 divided by 2, 0 divided by negative 2, yet they would be equal, so that is a valid solution. Okay, now it's hard to tell if these two lines cross or not. We can zoom in okay, and to determine that. But in this case here, these two graphs actually follow what we call a horizontal asymptote. Okay, so these two graphs actually never cross. They actually both approach the line y equals 1. And one comes from the bottom, one comes from the top, and they don't intersect. So there's only one solution to this equation. For example 2, if we take a look at the example 2, it was 1 over x plus 2 equals 9x over x minus 2. When we graph this, if we take a look at this graph, we can see that there are vertical asymptote are of our restricted value at x equals 2. Since we know that there's a vertical asymptote along this line, we know that the red line and the black line don't cross, okay? Because there's a vertical asymptote here at x equals positive 2 from that equation. Okay, so those are restrictions. So when we look at the solution to this, the solution is going to occur here at x equals negative 1.73 and at x equals negative 1. Point, sorry, negative 0.13. Okay, so that's those are our two solutions. Okay, and we've solved these by graphing. We can kind of move this around if you if you're not sure about the if there's any other intersections. But in this case, there's only two intersections. There's a few ways we can determine this. And when we start solving these algebraically, we'll, we'll take a closer look at how many solutions we would be looking for.